Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Brian's farm. It just finally got done raining after like three days. And so we don't want to do much outside just because it's so muddy. We have a lot to do here in the barn. We have a board over here that needs to go in front of the cow pen. We have a water bowl that needs replaced. And we also need to put new plastic on the outside of the windows, which I'll get into that later. So right now, I got this bowl out of the box. We bought this actually back in the summertime or springtime, something like that, and just never got it in. These cows actually have two water bowls and they just made do with one for the past couple of months. But now that we have some time, we're gonna get it put in. So first of all, I'll show you our old bowls, which, oh, I can go in here. So these are all, I think, cast iron, I wanna say. And none of these bowls have been working in a while. And it actually looks like we robbed parts out of this one. But anyway, this is the bowl, solid metal bowl. And then this is what's called like the plunger. So when the cows wanna drink, they just push that in. And then that releases water out of here and then they can drink. The only problem is over time, what happens is the parts rust or wear out and then we have to get new ones. Now those bowls are pretty old, so they don't have a lot of new parts for them. But luckily we have so many bowls here on the barn that we could just keep robbing parts off of them. So now though, we decided to try and go with a new bowl, a uh, new design. This is kind of the updated version. And so anyway, how it works is now it's a plastic bowl. You have your metal frame, which right here is where your water is gonna hook into. And then right here is now the new plunger which just swivels or bends back and forth on like a spring right there. You have, put it over here. You have three holes. And this is actually sitting upside down. This right here is for the plunger that they'll, that the cows will move with their nose to make the water come out. And then right here is where the pipe, where the water supply is gonna come into it. So basically it's gonna sit on the bowl just like this. These two big bolts are gonna go through here and attach the bowl to this metal plate. Then like I said, this will go in here and I'll sit like this. And then these two smaller bolts are gonna go in the back right here where you see that hole there. And that's gonna attach it to the board or the frame that all this is, that this whole apparatus is gonna sit onto. What do you see, Dace? Oh, and then at the bottom of this is this is the plug right down here. Okay, so the first thing right here inside the pen is where the bull is supposed to go. But leading to the bull, we have a shutoff valve and that has rusted really bad. You can see how the handle isn't even turned quite right. So the first thing we're gonna do is try and replace that handle. If we can't replace the handle, we're just gonna replace the whole valve itself. But the valve doesn't appear to be bad. So dad's coming back down now with a handle and then after that, we're gonna start working on the bowl. Cows in general are just rough on everything. Whether they chew on it, like you can see how this is notched out here like that and that. The door is notched out here. That's all just because the cows will lick. And if anything wiggles or has any kind of plan whatsoever, the cows are gonna mess with it until either they tear it off or break it or something of that sort. And I guess it makes sense because when you're in a pen all day, what else do you have to do besides just play around with stuff? We'll turn off. It won't even turn on. Did you shut the water off? No, I will now. Nope, that one's bigger. <coughs> I guess I'll go get a small fence. 
Yep. Really crushed. Yeah. We might need a new lift for that one. I hope we have one. I think we should put one in. Now it's so warmer now. No. It's got water in it. We should probably take that plug out. In that way. Because we'll never be able to work with it. Well, can't have that much pressure in it. Well, it's got water in it though. And it'll just keep cooling itself. I wonder if we'd let it in there and just unscrew it. We could try that. Well, you know what I mean? Just warm yeah. it up and then just let it there. It's, it's pretty good. warm now. All right, so let me go get a channel lock now. There's one, again, there's one in the box. Not a real big one. Or if I stop heating this up, it's gonna cool down again. Whoa. Now what? It won't. It won't break loose. We're gonna wreck that. Do you have? I have one, and I don't like it. I can, I can probably look a bit harder for a second one. Wow, that won't come out of there though. For some reason, the water's running. This might run for a while. I don't know if you should have a bucket. You got a bucket? Maybe not. Maybe not. All right, now this one here. I'm afraid of that. We'll just want to hold it while I heat it up. Yeah. Boy, they're nice and warm. I'd love to put them back in, but we're not going to. For what? Look at how heavy this one is. Where's the other one? Right there. I think that's good. I think that's good. Did you find another one? Yeah. Oh, you're here. That one. Yuck. Matt, are you sure that stuff's good? Oh, yeah. You just gotta get to the. Yeah, seems, seems like it shouldn't be like that. I should stir it up. As long as you get to the thicker of it. Yeah, this is really good stuff. That camera's like 20 bucks, I think. There might be a sticker on it, yeah. I don't want to push it into the valve, but I want a little bit in there to get started.
Because it's going to go halfway and we'll go the rest. <laughs> wow. Right there. Can we heat up more or do you think it's good? Nope, that's good. turn these down a little bit so that they don't get in the way of the handle. I've seen them where they didn't leak, but when they freeze, they push off. Didn't notice it until they started dripping real bad. We have got that valve in there now. Now, this bore that ran along the bottom here, you can see we just put a new one in, was rotted really bad. It was that right there, and a couple of broken pieces. And the problem with that was, then our door, because this, this beam or pole, whatever you want to call it, was attached to that, and then it was letting it swing out. You can see how it's kind of moving now. So, we just put this board in, attached that to that beam, and this beam, now what we're going to do is run two bolts through here to this uh, rough cut 2 by that we just put in and that way that'll hold that in and everything will be secure then. You can see manure is really hard on wood or metal, any of that kind of stuff. So it rotted the bottom of this board out but we have a really heavy oak uh, board in here and then we have pressure treated right here to kind of fill that gap in a little bit that got eaten out. So hopefully this will last another couple of years until we have to replace this whole beam because then when we have to replace that, we have to take the door off, the hinges, all these bolts, and that's just another job we don't want to get into. Once that's fastened, which that'll be done in about five minutes, then we can start working on putting our bowl, which belongs right here. Everything works together. So that one in first, the valve, then the pipe runs over here, and this pipe is fastened to all this apparatus, which now we have this secure, and now we can work on this, and once that is done, the whole barn job will be complete for right now. What is this? It's a cow tooth. Red base? It's a cow tooth. So that smells funny. Over the summer, this trough was built and put in here. And already it looks like it's about 30 years old, just from the cows licking it and getting manure on it. We did notice though that this was rough cut and after it dried, we have these cracks in here now. So we're gonna run through with a caulk gun and try and fill that in. That way their food doesn't keep falling down through. That's right, yeah. There you go. Right. I'm gonna tap that in there because I don't want to over the threads up. Do you have a hammer? Go find a hammer. Good. Is it through? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because we don't want it in the manure. We'd rather have it out here more than half. A little bit of our famous anti-seeds. Washer. 
Right. So we're gonna let that be right there. And tighten the other one. Yep. You know what you finish, so I don't get all the names. almost takes Good enough. Feel good. Yeah, that's it. Let that be. Yep. All for nothing. And I couldn't get that to go in very well, so it might not be too easy. I was just trying to play around with it. Look at this. That's the only one I'm a little bit skeptical on. I should have had an extension. It's a big wrench, so. Yeah. Right now we go as far as you think. I'd like to think that's okay. Beautiful.
Yeah. All right, so it's ready to go. Yeah. So I'll kind of let that open. Oh no, we need that next to run it down along the. Threading right in there and not getting tight. So now we get under the situation of where do we stop? Like it should. I don't think I stop there. Go one more turn around. I don't know either. That's what we did that for years. How much threads you got left? We're out of threads on the top. Well then you're done. No, there's threads. I better go one more. Oh, quick. then I'd go one more. Yeah. Hopefully I don't bust. How do I get this little wrench? Oh, wait. Well, this won't break. But I got this little baby wrench, and I'm not sure why. Oh boy. Oh, beautiful. 